So let's go ahead and get into some of the topics tonight, because that's going to come back up before we are through tonight. Dang on it. I'm mad about this, man. I'm mad. Let's see. What's up. I have to shake it off. And I, what's this? Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Speaking of crook, creepy, sleepy Joe. We just saw a montage up there with him talking about some coming after the guns. Get them off the street. Yeah, ban assault weapons and all of that stuff. Well, he got a message coming to him from the ladies. Before we get to this video, make sure you hit like, share my videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also, make sure that your notifications are on and they're set to all. Now, let's get into this. But first, quick commercial break. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment for the class of 2022. Real estate, crypto, stocks and bonds, gold outperformed them all in 2022. Noble Gold Investments help thousands of clients buy real physical gold. According to longtermtrends.net, gold outperformed the S&P 500, the Dow and Bitcoin in 2022. Had you invested in the S&P 500 a year ago, you would be down more than 20%. And if you would have invested in Bitcoin a year ago, you would be down more than 65%. And if you invested in Dow a year ago, you would be down almost 10%. And yes, gold has outperformed them all in 2022. And silver was not far behind. So what are you waiting for? Join the thousands of others by opening a gold IRA or a silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments. Invest in Noble Gold Investments before the end of this month and you will bag a free one-fourth ounce American Eagle coin with every qualified IRA or $50,000 or more. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments and their thousands of five-star reviews. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five. Call Noble Gold Investments at 877-646-5347 for a no pressure cancellation only conversation. Yes, that is 877-646-5347. And if you're not ready to invest, download the Noble Gold Investments Gold Investments Guide. Simply scroll down below and you will find the link in the description box. And for mobile phone users, click the more button to find the link. Now, let's get to this video. See, it ain't just us men with all of our toxic masculinity and all of that. It ain't just us with our rocks in the voice. Ha! That's right. Open up your door. Ain't just us rocking the, the pistols and the guns and stuff. It ain't us. They just love the Second Amendment. It's the ladies, too. So, let's see what they got to say to Joe. Dear Joe Biden, we aren't terrorists. We aren't the enemy. We're the good guys. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Y'all, y'all hear this bum? Yeah, damn that we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Nobody, nobody just sat back and said, excuse me, creepy, Scre creepy. I got a question for you. Exactly what semi-automatic weapons are you referring to? Because outside of revolvers, they're all semi-automatic. Oh, well, I didn't think you would ask me that. I thought that the dumb people would just, just believe I'm talking about the AR-15s. But no, we're not dumb. So when you say, dang on, semi-automatic weapons, you're talking about almost every handgun out there, Joe. And you think we don't know. So glad these ladies know. Uh-huh. So let's continue. It's just sick. Sick. Sick? Really? Tell that to the pregnant mother who saved her kids with an AR-15. Yeah, Joe. The fact is that the AR-15 is America's most popular rifle. Tell them, girl. for self-defense, hunting, and shooting sports. Woo! Americans own more than 30 million of these modern-day muskets. Ban assault weapons what? now. Ban them now. No ban Joe Biden now. The ban was law of mass shootings went down after we let it expire in the Republican administration. When you were U.S. Senator, you voted and America banned these from 1994 to 2004. And murder rates were 19.3% higher. It's failed policy. The vast majority of crimes were never even being committed with assault weapons. Woo! Oh, yes, it's ladies' night, and the feeling is right. Oh, yes, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a, oh, what a night. Y'all hear these ladies schooling Joe as he gets up there and throws out all of those fake uh, stats and all of that stuff. That's right. I, I was a part of the bill that banned it, and things got better. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. And see, this is where you know what their intentions are. What this lady just said, the majority of violent gun assaults and you know, shootings and stuff. This is not the choice weapon of criminals. You know, see, this is what makes me mad about this whole thing. You have to stop and ask yourself at some point, why are you going after the gun that is rarely ever used 
to kill anybody. Why are you going after that? You always got to stop and ask, what is the motive for them going after that? Now, if you still think that these raggedy Democrats, for whatever reason, care about gun violence, you're naive. Somebody just said Chicago. Do you see them dudes up in Chicago with AR-15s going to work? Do, 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 do. You don't see that, do you? Yeah, you don't see this happening in the streets every weekend. You don't see that. Dudes are out there with nine millimeters. They're out there with Glocks and all of that stuff. But for some reason, they want to bunny hop over all of those pistols and go straight after the AR-15. Now, what could be their motive? That's my question. Now, let's look at that AR-15 that is owned majority by conservatives, men and women. Uh-huh. The gun of choice, most popular gun. I know a whole bunch of non-conservatives that have AR-15s as well. However, for some reason, though, you want to get your meat hooks on the gun that is least used in shootings and in crime. Nobody robs a bank with an AR-15 unless you're in heat. Robert De Niro and all of them. You know, you're going in professional. Most dudes don't go in with no AR-15. That mess is too bulky for folks to be carrying, you know, talking about some, yeah, man, there's Rollo. He owe me some money. Hey, give me the AR-15 out the back. Usually it's more convenient. They just roll by with pistol. But yet they want that gun. Only a regime that is looking down the road at tyranny wants to get guns from innocent people. I mean, you would think having innocent uh, law abiding citizens with weapons to help out with all of the crazy crime going on would be a benefit. You would be going, hey, hey if there's anybody out there. This living close to a Democrat ran city that we've allowed to fall into chaos and not like a Mad Max movie. Um, if you can help out, maybe because the cops right now, they don't even go in and try to police it because we demonize them too much and stuff. So, you know, I mean, it's pretty much the Wild Wild West. If you see somebody about to get hurt or killed, if you got a gun, please help us out. We need help because we don't know what to do. Crime's out of control, but you know what we're doing? Wasting our time coming after the law-abiding citizens in that AR-15 that is owned by a lot of conservatives that most likely would be the gun used in case of tyranny. I'm just saying. Let's continue. Ladies night. In the first place. They're not a criminal's weapon of choice. Who? The facts are on facts. our side. Facts, but they Guns don't like that. save lives. Yeah. And you'll never stop us from defending our family. Tell them, girl. Joe. Come and take it. Come and take it. Ooh. Come and take it. Oh. Come and take it. Come and take it. Come and take it. Woo! Nah, ain't nothing better than a conservative woman. You hear that, y'all? Come and take it, y'all. Standing there with the baby and everything, y'all. Got the air on that. Come and take it. Now, you are you. I'm going to teach you how to use this as soon as you can walk. You understand that, right? Yeah, see? Come and take it. So, there you have it. And I'm glad that they use a nice array of women, see? Because you know if they'd only use the lady with the cowgirl hat on, you know what that would have been? Of course. Look at her. She's a white nationalist. I mean, uh, uh, she probably just got off of a bull or something and they came and shot the commercial. But instead they use an Asian person, black. Oh, they done sprinkled it in. The reverse uh, technique on these folks that like to deal with, you know, identity politics. So we have to reverse it and say, let's go ahead and block that mess off grip. Don't just stick a white person up there because you know what that would be. I don't know if that's a, of course they would say it. They're white. Unbelievable, these people. God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. And please check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, please click on the link below this video. Put Kevin in a promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. If you'd like to donate to Kevin's Corner, feel free. The links are below this video. If you want to be a part of my $2 a month club, also feel free to do that. All it entails is you simply dropping two bucks a month into one of those links below the video. Or if you want, you can drop a nice big fat lump sum in there to offset the stuff that we know goes on with Big Tech. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Make sure that you are still subscribed. And finally, set your notification button to all because YouTube is playing games, y'all. Now, God bless you. God bless America. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.